Having taken a close look at the Traxxas TRX4, we'll start our upgrade journey with a seemingly very simple yet incredibly useful upgrade, telemetry. Covered in previous videos, but just to recap, equipping the TQI radio system with the Traxxas Link wireless module unlocks various features with instant Bluetooth connectivity. You can even make adjustments remotely while you drive, so this really is the first step in our upgrade journey. So as stated, we've already taken a look at this as well as the accompanying app during our Traxxas slash build, so we won't cover it in too much detail here, rather I'll leave a link at the end of this video, and fortunately installation is also precisely the same. Remove a single screw to release the covering plate, replace with the Link wireless module, and reinsert the same screw, and that's all there is to it. Now we can launch the Traxxas Link app on a smartphone and have access to update and refine settings on the TRX4, as well as launch a dashboard where we have our standard information, albeit with missing temperature and voltage. Although we have all these tweaking and monitoring options, when out on a long trail, it's really handy to know how much battery power you have remaining. And to add that gauge, we need to install this seemingly small part, the Traxxas temperature and voltage sensor. What looks like a small cable actually contains two sensors. The connector at one end will plug straight into the receiver, while the red cable goes out to the battery in order to measure and feed back voltage levels. Although in between we also have a small temperature sensor which can be used to monitor how hot the motor is running. So to install the sensor we'll begin by getting the temperature sensor wrapped around the motor first, before we plug it in either end, and in typical Traxxas fashion we need another part to keep the sensor in place, thankfully relatively cheap. Basically it's a zip tie and a small sensor holder. So let's get started, and we do that pushing the temperature sensor into its plastic mounting bracket, feed the zip tie through, and mount it securely around the motor, cutting off any excess plastic. And that's it, luckily we do not need to remove the motor at all since it's rather open anyways. So with the temperature sensor now in place we need to deal with the remaining two connectors. To do this we feed the wires back towards the receiver box, for which we need to remove two screws releasing the wire clamp, and the three screws holding the receiver cover in place. With the receiver exposed we can go ahead and feed the grey connector through the gap in the clamp, and connect it to the voltage and temperature port on the receiver, which is conveniently labelled so you can't really go wrong, leaving the red connector outside of the receiver casing. Now we are done with the receiver, we can go ahead and secure the receiver cover and wire clamp back into place. If you run in wet conditions, be mindful to apply some silicon to complete the watertight seal, although I never run through water so I'm happy to skip that step for now. It's this red wire that now needs to connect to the red cable leading to the battery itself, and to do this, yep, you guessed it, you need to purchase yet another Traxxas part, the power tap. Again it's rather cheap but it's the third part we've had to use in order to complete this setup. At this point you may find it easy to loosen the battery tray, simple with two screws at the bottom, and two on the sides. So we can feed the wire beneath and maintain a tidy install. Anyway, one end of the power tap attaches to the spare red connector we left at the receiver, while the other end would connect to the end of the battery plug here, although, oh look, we need to purchase the first generation battery connector to attach this onto. Ok, so enough of the purchases, rather than buy yet another part, an older generation part at that, I decided to go ahead and solder the voltage sensor wire directly to the red battery cable, quick and easy. Once done, tidy up the wiring, and reinstall the battery tray using the same four screws we just removed, and job done. Now we can attach a battery, power on the transmitter, followed by the vehicle, and fire up the Traxxas Link app. Here we need to make sure the correct vehicle is selected, and make sure all specifics are correct including your battery type. Once done, head into the dashboard and we can adjust our dials as we like, adding in the correct gauges. And there we go, motor temperature as well as battery voltage status on clear display. So, not a difficult install and one where you can cut corners since you really only need two of the four parts, the sensor itself along with the temperature sensor mount for a neat working setup. First TRX4 upgrade complete.